Star Wars is movies that I watched when I was younger. And I have done a lot of like watching of the material and a lot of like the lore. We're gonna hop right into this though. We're gonna start with episode one. Over the first period of time when this movie came out, I didn't enjoy this movie. I thought it was too bland. Now that I'm older, I've come to appreciate this movie more. I think the prequels overall are overly hated. I don't think that they're perfect movies by any means, but they are well put together. They have an interesting story. They're unique. They have different characters. They have new planets. I think that episode one goes into a solid B tier. Now we have Rogue One. Rogue One is the best piece of Disney Star Wars by a long way. Rogue One is very, very good. It is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. The music, the score is almost perfect. The casting is almost perfect. Rogue One is an excellent movie because it doesn't necessarily fit the Star Wars narrative that normal Star Wars movies go into. It isn't Mr. Big Hero saves the day. It's a group of gritty warriors who are taking on a large foe. It's basically like Apocalypse Now but Star Wars. It managed to be a good standalone movie while also including like large major Star Wars event goes into the A tier for me. I think we can only say this. Literally all that we have to say. It is one of the best movies ever. It is a perfect, perfect Star Wars movie. But overall, Empire is fantastic. It's amazing. It's, it's incredible. Uh, now we have the Clone Wars TV series. I think this is the only other thing that goes into S along with Empire. The Clone Wars is a lot of people's childhoods. And the coolest thing about the show is it's a cartoon, but it's not a kid's show. This is a dark show. There's murder. There's death. There's betrayal. There's a love story. There's tragedy. It's a fucking fantastic show. If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. If you guys don't agree with me, I would love to know why. And if you haven't already, go check out the new YouTube video. Uh, episode two is not a good movie in my opinion. I think that George Lucas tried. Everything that, that people have said about George Lucas and the way that he deals with actors is completely true. He doesn't write good dialogue for actors for the most part. Uh, I think that the acting was wooden. I think the story overall was kind of bland. Uh, I liked the Geonosis battle. I thought that was really cool. One of the coolest scenes from this movie is when Django Fett blows up that like concussion grenade and it like tears a goddamn asteroid apart that shit was so fucking cool i think overall for what it's worth this is a decent movie and it's aged really well i think episode two goes into a c so up next we have return of the jedi this might get me some hate i don't like return of the jedi all that much i think overall it is the worst original movie i think it's probably by far too i hate the ewoks the fact that the ewoks beat the empire is one of the dumbest pieces of movie lore ever. They're literally fucking teddy bears. There is no reason in this goddamn world why the Ewoks should have beat the Empire. They have fucking walking mechs. Uh, I think it goes into a B tier. Another controversial one, The Mandalorian. I know a lot of people don't like this show. I don't understand why. I find it super fucking good. I love Grogu. I love the Luke. I love what uh, Filoni has done. I love what Favreau has done. Mandalorian is only going to get better too. I think that they have so much lore and so much time between episode 6 and episode 7. I think the Mandalorian goes into an A. The best of the prequels by far. Revenge of the Sith has everything. It has tragedy. It has like suspense it has happiness it has war it has good villains it has everything that you could possibly want from a star wars movie i'm gonna be having trouble putting it up with this stuff i'm not gonna lie i think revenge of the sith deserves an end um solo i hate this movie I think it's a complete cash grab. I thought it was fun. I thought the action was good. There's not a person on the face of this goddamn earth that can play Han Solo other than Harrison Ford. I want to say that he was good. He was. I thought he was charismatic. But to me, it just felt weird. Somebody other than Harrison Ford playing Han Solo. I just didn't like it. This movie ruined a perfectly good chance to use Darth Maul for a second time in live action. Why would you tease Darth Maul at the end and then never do anything with him? It makes me so mad that they did it. This movie is so bad. I think it goes into a C. I didn't mind The Force Awakens. They basically just ripped off A New Hope. It's basically the same fucking movie. They find somebody poor on a desert world. They find out that, oh, hey, they have the Force. They have a soothsayer or somebody to, like, bring them up. Uh, and then they go to a big overarching... or they, they have, like, a rebel alliance that is then taking on a big bad empire. Uh, literally the same movie. It was basically just fan service. The Force Awakens... 
I think it goes to C. We have The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is shit. Like, let's get that out of the way first. The Last Jedi is garbage. I think this movie is kind of misunderstood a little bit. I think that Ryan Johnson was trying to go for something that was out of the ordinary, but he failed in every fucking way. The thing about it is that these movies literally failed when they failed to incorporate George Lucas into them. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to kill the prequels completely. And this movie definitely did it. This movie is, is not a Star Wars movie. It's just a bad movie. It, it, it just is. It does go at the top of F. Now we're going to get in to The Rise of Skywalker. The worst piece of Star Wars fiction ever. It's so fucking bad. There's nothing about this plot that is good, in my opinion. There just isn't. The worst part is the fact that they brought Palpatine back. Why would you bring Palpatine back? The whole premise of the Star Wars, the original six Star Wars movies, was the Anakin arc. The Anakin arc was he came up as a child from slavery, he became a Jedi, he descended into the dark side, he then worked for Palpatine to do all these things, and then his son came back and he redeemed him. And the redemption arc is Anakin's arc. That is his arc. And the arc ends with Anakin killing Palpatine. Them bringing Palpatine back in this movie, there's literally no fucking arc. They literally said, haha, get fucked Anakin, your arc doesn't matter. And it pisses me off so fucking much. Because Anakin is such a good, well-developed character. J.J. Abrams, what were you doing? Why? It's an F. It's obviously an F. Now we have something that's good. We have A New Hope. I like this movie. I think it's good. It's the original, right? This is the Star Wars movie original. Overall, it's a very simple story. It's a story of a hero. This movie sets up everything, right? It sets up the whole world. It sets up the lore. It sets up Luke. It sets up Leia. It sets up Han. It's, it's, a, it's a good story. It's all it is. Um, this movie goes into an A. Now we have Book of Boba Fett. This was basically just Mandalorian 2.5. Some of the stuff was good, but I thought it was just like not a Boba Fett TV show. I love seeing Cad Bane in IRL. That was cool. But I think Mandalorian is better overall. I think that the whole story arc of Mandalorian was better. Uh, this show was just, it was kind of felt like a cash grab in a way. I, I think it goes into a, so. That is my Star Wars tier list though.